Hey Panthers, happy December and happy day one of our 12 days before winter break holiday read around. So during these 12 days, we're gonna be releasing a multicultural holiday story for you to be able to share with your family at home together. Typically we would do this at school and we would spend a morning being able to rotate to different classrooms and hear our staff read their favorite holiday stories to you. However, we're gonna to have to make do with this. So we're gonna bring it to you virtually and we're super excited. I get to kick it off today with our first story called A World of Cookies for Santa. Follow Santa's tasty trip around the world. And one of the reasons I love this story is that it goes through and it shows us all kinds of places that Santa can visit and the ways in which people around the world celebrate that holiday. And so whether you celebrate Christmas or whether you celebrate a different holiday or maybe just the spirit of giving and kindness for this month, we hope that you enjoy these read alouds. So without further ado, we will get started. And it says, come along on Santa's Christmassy ride and discover the sweet treats shared with him by children across the globe. This delicious trip includes stops in India, Malawi, Brazil, and other places. So here we go. A world of cookies for Santa. All around the world, Christmas is a time of giving. While Santa Claus, also called Papai Noel, Father Christmas, Grandfather Frost, and more, packs his sleigh with gifts for children everywhere, they're preparing their own sweet gifts for him. Follow along on Santa's tasty trip around the globe, country by country and cookie by cookie. So we're starting here in Christmas Island. Kiritimati, also known as Christmas Island, is the first place in the world to welcome Christmas Day and Santa. Children on this little island in the Southern Pacific share their abundant coconut crop and leave him sweet, chewy coconut macaroons. Oh, yeah. In New Zealand, children remember the reindeer too, and they leave hay or carrots for them, as well as crunchy Anzac biscuits and milk for Santa. In Australia, Santa Claus uses his magic key to open the front door when he visits children in Australia. He leaves small gifts in a sack or stocking by their bedrooms and their bigger gifts under the tree. Their gift to him is crispy fruit filled white Christmas treats and because it's summer, a cool glass of milk or other drinks. Boys and girls who are too excited to sleep might hear the sound of the bell Santa rings as he leaves their home. In Japan, Koti Ayosha brings gifts and fortunes to children. They believe he has eyes in the back of his head so he can watch for children who are misbehaving. After he leaves their gifts on their pillow, Koti Ayosha enjoys a slice of strawberry topped Christmas cake the children put out for him. Look at these beautiful illustrations. Do you see the origami ornaments? In Indonesia, most homes don't have chimneys so children put their shoes near the door or in front of a pretend fireplace they make for Sinterklaas to fill with gifts. In return, children treat him to a taste of the tropics with nastar cookies filled with pineapple jam. In the Philippines, before they go to bed, Filipino children double check to make sure their parents leave the front door unlatched for Santa Claus to come in. After filling the stockings, Santa finds the children's gifts of puto seco, a crisp melt in your mouth cookie and a spicy ginger tea called salabat. In Sri Lanka on Christmas Eve, children come home from midnight mass and hang their stockings on the tree. After Nathathal Sia, Christmas grandfather, puts their gifts in the stockings, he munches on kokis, a lacy fried cookie, while he sips the Ceylon tea the island country is famous for. In India, children hang their stockings by a window if they don't have a fireplace. They leave Christmas Baba or Father Christmas, a crispy fried treat called kulkus and a cup of spicy chai tea. In South Africa, Curse Vader, Father Christmas arrives in South Africa by donkey. He fills children's stockings with special chocolates and small gifts. They leave him Herzog cookies filled with apricot jam and topped with crunchy coconut meringue. In Malawi, Father Christmas brings gifts to children at Christmas parties at their school. They thank him with mabatata, sweet potato cookies. Look at these illustrations. Aren't they beautiful? In Bethlehem, at the site of the first Christmas, many people from around the world visit there for the special holiday. 
Santa brings gifts to children in homes with a cross painted over the door. Children give him mamol, a cookie stuffed with dates or honey and nuts. Children in Egypt go to bed early in hopes that Baba Noel will climb through the window, enjoy the cack, a sweet biscuit they put out for him and leave them gifts. In Russia, Dead Moroz, Grandfather Frost, brings Snegorochka, Snow Maiden, to deliver gifts. She rides in a sleigh pulled by three horses. Children give them the gift of Prianiki, a sweet honey spice cookie, and a cup of tea to warm them for the rest of their journey. In Ukraine, Svati Mykole, Saint Nicholas. I might have said that wrong. So if you are Ukrainian, make sure you let me know how to pronounce that. So we're going to try it again. Svayati Mikole, St. Nicholas, slips in quietly to put gifts under the pillow of children in Ukraine. They leave a traditional St. Nick cookie, Michael Lychiki, for him. In Denmark, Jule Mande, Christmas man, puts presents under the tree while the family eats Christmas dinner. When everyone is finished eating, the children see the decorated tree for the first time. They thank, they thank Jule Mande in person for their gifts by sharing their Risa La Mande rice pudding with him. In Norway nearby, Jule Nissen, Christmas elf, comes into the house on Christmas Eve and asks, are there any good children here? Sometimes the children must sing for him before they receive their gifts. Jewel Neeson is thanked with some riskrim, a sweet rice pudding served with cherry sauce. In Poland, the star man visits families after their Christmas dinner. He asks the children questions and rewards their answers with small gifts. In return, they share fruit-filled kolaksiki with him and his companions, the star boys, who sing for the family. In Germany, German children have been counting down the days until Christmas on their advent calendars. They open the last door on the advent calendar before they go to bed, excited to see what they will find under the tree from Weihnachtsmann, Christmas man. Making many kinds of Christmas cookies is an important part of Christmas celebrations in Germany. Children leave Weihnachtsmann, a plate filled with pepperkakor, springerle, and gingerbread people. In France, children leave carrots, oats, or apples in the shoes they place by the fireplace or the Christmas tree. Pere Noel takes the children's gifts to Gouy, the donkey, who carries his heavy sack. Then he fills the shoes with small gifts and treats. Sometimes they borrow shoes from their parents because they hold more. For himself, Pere Noel can choose from any of the 13 desserts that families eat during their Christmas Eve celebration. That's my kind of celebration. He really likes to have a slice of the Yule log with the drinks that they leave for him. In Spain, Spanish children fall into bed late, tired from their festive Noche Buena celebration that brings many families and friends together for a big meal and singing and dancing. They put their shoes on their windowsill or balcony filled with treats of barley and wheat for the wise men's horses. One of the wise men leaves the children gifts. Toron, a nugget candy of almonds, honey, and sugar is the most popular Christmas treat to leave as a gift. In the Basque country that lies between France and Spain, Olencero, a coal miner from the Pyrenees Mountains, brings coal for the naughty children and gifts for the good children. Children clean their shoes and place them near the fireplace for him to fill. Children thank Olencero for their gifts by leaving drinks and almond tile cookies, which are shaped like the roof tiles of their homes. In Great Britain, Father Christmas fills the stockings of children. They leave him a gift of fruit-filled mince pie along with a drink. In Ireland, Santa must be very quiet as he slips to fill the stockings hung at the foot of the bed at the Irish homes. Like in Great Britain, he'll find a mince pie and a glass of milk on the table along with a candle that will burn all night. In Brazil, when he visits, Papai Noel comes in the front door and finds the children's shoes beside the Christmas tree or Prescepio nativity scene, or next to their beds waiting to be filled with gifts. Children leave him a fudge-like sweet called Briga Diero. 
In Argentina, Papa Noel has to wait until the big fireworks displays are over before the children will be asleep for his visit. Boys and girls fill their shoes with straw or barley for his camels and leave Papa Noel mantecados de anis, a crumbly cookie with a hint of licorice flavor, and sidra, a sparkling cider. In Chile, chimneys are too narrow for viejo pascuero, old man Christmas, so he climbs in a window. He leaves presents near the manger scene and finds a plate with a gift of pan de pascua, a Christmas bread filled with candied fruit. In Puerto Rico, boys and girls leave straw in shoeboxes under their beds for the camels of the wise men. They also leave Monte Carido, a cherry studded shortbread cookie for the wise men who bring the children gifts. In Costa Rica, Colacho brings gifts to children and puts them under the fragrant cypress tree. Costa Rican children leave him a gift of crunchy star shaped suspiros and a glass of rompope, eggnog flavored with coconut. In Mexico, just after midnight, Mexican children get to break open a piñata filled with small toys and treats. After they go to bed, Santa arrives to bring their gifts. He looks forward to the nutty sugar-coated Mexican wedding cookies they leave for him, along with a cup of sweet, spicy Mexican hot chocolate that warms him up as he heads further north again, where it's cold. And here we are in the United States, which is where we live. In the United States, all across America, children have decorated their trees and hung their stockings, waiting for Santa and his reindeer to arrive. From Maine to California and all the states in between, Santa will find a glass of milk and a plate of cookies. Children might choose to give him a decorated gingerbread Pearson, iced sugar cookies, or the classic American chocolate chip cookie. They also sometimes leave carrots for Santa's reindeer. Do you do any of those things? In Canada, the nights are long in the northernmost part of North America, but Santa Claus finds his way to Montreal, Canada by the millions of Christmas lights on display across the city. They can be seen from space, they're so bright. In the French speaking region of Quebec, Pere Noel warms himself by the fire while he fills children's stockings and enjoys the spicy fruit filled hermit cookies they leave. They're perfect for dunking in the milk the children leave with the cookies. As he gets to Canada's Western coast, Father Christmas appreciates the warm pot of tea and rich layered Nanaimo bars the children leave for him. In Alaska, when Santa arrives, he's pretty close to the North Pole home. There is a town called North Pole in, As in Alaska, but that's different. Alaskan children give him Eskimo cookies, a chewy, fudgy oatmeal cookie that is cooked on top of the stove and not in the oven. In Hawaii, Hawaiian children won't hear the sound of hoofs on their roofs but they might see Santa's footprints in the sand where he hopped off the surfboard pulled by a dolphin. Kana Kaloka comes through the windows that are left open to allow the cooling trade winds to blow through. Children will find their gifts under the trees they decorate with garlands, shells, and starfish. They present uh, the present they give him of sweet, chewy pineapple macadamia bars is a refreshing treat. After visiting the last home in Pago Pago, Santa flies back to the wintry North Pole. He's warmed by the thoughts of the joy the boys and girls he visited will feel as they open their gifts and by the sweet memories of the giving spirit children everywhere showed throughout the treats they shared with him. What do you think of that book? It is one of my favorites also because it puts the recipes of all of the different cookies that they talk about within the book. And so this is the perfect time to be able to try a new cookie and I am curious how you celebrate. So some of you might celebrate Christmas. Some of you might just celebrate as we talked about in the beginning, just the spirit of winter and giving and being kind to one another. So these next 11 days beyond today, you'll be able to hear some other read alouds from various cultures and places around the globe to see how they celebrate. And I would love to hear how you and your family celebrate as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this first day of our read aloud. I can't wait to give you tomorrow's read aloud. So stay tuned and you'll be able to see who's doing the reading tomorrow. So have a great first day, guys. See you later. Bye.